So this is me. Looking at me, you would expect that I'm a typical 18-year-old, middle-class, white American girl. Which, to some extent, is true. What you wouldn't expect is that I'm also a first-generation American. My parents were both born in the Netherlands and lived there until they entered adulthood. Two people seeking a dream of better opportunities in America immigrated to the U.S. about 25 years ago, truly manifesting the ever-glorified American dream. Leaving their families, friends, and lives behind, they began a dairy farming business from the ground up, sacrificing nearly everything to build a successful business, dealing with hostility from a community that doesn't like change, the complicated English language, and all the financial fear that comes from starting a new business. They built a family and a life here, and had me and my two younger sisters. In the primary election in August, I became the first one in my family to vote in an American election. This last fall, I went to CMU and became the first in my family to attend a four-year university. Moving to college has made me realize how much where I have come from has shaped me. Going along with the stereotype of first-generation students, I've grown up with hard work being an expectation. In dialogue with other people about political issues, immigration in particular, I realize I have been blessed to be able to look at our current political situation from an outside perspective. I have been able to look at American politics objectively and see the huge need for compromise and critical thinking in our current political climate. Although I'm a first-gen student, my life is not as diverse as you might think. I grew up in a small town called Marshall, Michigan, and my first time out of the country was this last summer. Traveling across an ocean by myself for the first time, I learned a lot about myself and about my family. It was amazing to see the places my parents grew up, where the prequel of the story of my life occurred. I was able to see all the places and the people that directly shaped my parents, which indirectly shaped me, and that was powerful. So that's where I came from, but this is who I am. My name is Julia Dina Christina Amting, and I'm a freshman at Central Michigan University. I love Jesus, I love s'mores Pop-Tarts, I love coffee and coffee shops, I love to laugh and I listen to every kind of music. I have some incredible people in my life who build me up every day, and I don't know what I would do without them. I'm really passionate about art and painting, and I believe that it connects people in ways that very few other things can. Uh, since I've been at CMU, I've decided to pursue it as my minor. For my major, I'm currently pursuing a degree in communication sciences and disorders on the track to be a speech language pathologist. I became passionate about this major last summer. My Dutch isn't very good at all, which, while I was traveling, inhibited my ability to connect with my family members who didn't speak English. And that was painful. I realized then that millions of people struggle with communication disorders, and consequently connecting with the people they love. I hope my future career as a speech-language pathologist can help others bridge those gaps. Looking back on my life, I can firmly say that I believe everything happens for a reason. It's crazy to me that the little town that my parents chose to build their life in became my home, and where I grew up with so many amazing people and opportunities. Clearly, there was a plan behind that. I proudly identify as a first-gen student, but that's not my entire identity. I'm not where I came from. I'm who I am, and who my creator says I am. And the same goes for you.